in today's video we're going to be completing our video um, our setup here for our battery system these are the uh, the wires you know I've been telling you guys I have to wait for the um, for the battery logs so if I can pan the camera here here they are so I got a few of them so I completed the logs <coughs> And here is a crimping tool so guys this is what I've been doing but one after the other and um, get the crimping uh, the, the logs now to my surprise that um, I'm out of the, uh, the heat shrink so we don't have any heat shrink I have two one wire I only made I need three of these this was already heat shrink you can see that so this is my butane it's a professional uh, blowtorch they use it for kicks and design whatever it is you can see here pizza you know all the good stuff like coffee so you can just uh, you know push the trigger here and ignite you gotta turn the gas ignite this you can hold this button down while you push the trigger. This is going to hold the button for you, um, the, the trigger for you, so you don't have to keep on holding it while you're doing the rest of the job. But, like I said, now I had to learn the hard way, so I can't wait for another week so that we can complete this project. So I got my uh, electrical tape here. I can just put it on these guys here. It's only two wires. I need more. And the black on this side here for just prevent oxidation and all that stuff. So we're gonna hook up the batteries. I wanna really test these batteries. Can't wait any much longer. So guys, this is the setup here, and let's do it. Well, I know a lot of people are gonna give me a hard time about this, me using the tape. I do understand that, but like I like I, I told you guys. And I explained myself before it's gonna be all over the comments, you know, electrical tape, you know, blah blah blah, yada yada yada. So I understand that. I don't like I don't like electrical tape um, to do this kind of work because um, after a while it's gonna let go and it's gonna start um, ripping off on the side you can see it, it can stay for long it peels off i know there's a someone who say well if you use the quality tape and uh the other ones you can use for rubber tight or whatever you call it for sealing pipes and all the good stuff they are really good they look like a band-aid but it's like a die hard one like a gorilla or something whatever they call them I know what I'm talking about, but um, I'm trying to say that's the word. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but the word cannot just come out. So, guys, this is what it is, and um, this is what I'm going to do at this point. So, the only thing I will say about tape, some people like to pull the tape really hard. If you pull the tape really hard, it tends to retract again. By retracting... It started going backwards and it started loosening up. Anytime you're gonna see that glue coming out, it's loosening up. So this is what I've done. So look at that. Just like putting a heat shrink on it. So you don't have to tighten it too much. Okay? Because since it expanded and now it's gonna uh try to um contract to its normal um position. So let's do the rest. Like and subscribe, JW Solar USA, live from the command center in Minnesota. Alright guys, this is what I've done. You see, this is how I wrap the um, electrical tape. Not bad, right? Not that bad at all. So, I would not recommend user tape. We tend to use what we have and to complete our task. So... So two down, one more to go, and we are all set, and we got a 
a set of threes here and um, that's it we have extra and we have other ones that we have haven't made any logs for so we still have to keep them and let's connect the batteries like and subscribe JW Solo USA Minnesota all right guys um, this is uh, I've been started to do the uh, the parallel connection and I'm on the last positive cable up here now and working with one hand it's really hard sometimes to handle um, angle the um, the way you want things to be correctly aimed or something so even if you have a tripod stand so you have to keep adjusting yourself reposition yourself so now it's all done the first uh, positive side is all parallel you see my interconnect I hope you like that I use all the wires with the tape all the way down I flip this one backwards to do this and come all the way up here and get it to just like this for example I flipped it on the back side okay the back side and I end up coming up this way so you see flip upside down and come on the top and come back here flip this one upside down to the top upside down to the top okay all right let's do the negative side like and subscribe all right guys um see that this is what I'm talking about I decided to flip the uh, the cable this is the like I'm gonna call this the good side and the back side or positive negative or the reverse whatever you want to call it so I gotta put this and be mindful the the tool I'm using is a t30 well was a special security um, um, tool whatever I call it but uh, so trying to get it <coughs> excuse me um, all properly wired I'm gonna come back to the um, the top here I hope you can see this this is the second layer battery number two and we're gonna take this guy out and know what's happening right now the batteries are getting to the um, the balancing mode right now because as soon as I said it connects as soon as I connect this one and the batteries the power is going to be transferred since the policy has already um, installed and you're going to see the power transfer getting batteries all balanced started balancing the batteries to all but you guys have seen the batteries are all balanced with uh, um, 15.86 uh, I suppose approximately and uh, we go from there now you're gonna see what I'm talking about this one is gonna be up see the top I'm gonna flip this one backwards and I use this one at the top okay so what I've done all the connections are from outside not from the inner side of it is the outer side so we're gonna go like this now supposed to be power transfer happening right now everything is started balancing second batteries okay all right stay tuned all right guys this will be the last one we're gonna And it's done so there we go guys it's all so I want all the connection gonna be outside this would have been out here I think I have to correct this if you look at all these ones they are outside outside okay this one was inside so it is okay so I'll leave it that way the way I have done it that chain work so inner outer outer up here and this is the battery bank now guys this is how it looks like like and subscribe JW Solo USA live in Minnesota the battery 
is already live so we're gonna go through the process here and we're gonna be hooking up the inverter and try to charge up this battery right away stay tuned for that other session on this video and um, we will do the test what we're gonna do first I want to make sure deplete these batteries whatever um, the batteries were sitting at right now. I can just, I have to leave them so that they can just uh, balance up properly. Now I'm happy because the batteries are already wired up, and we're gonna do the test later. Like and subscribe, GW Solar USA.